high friends. In cotton, the other most important feature after the length is the thinness. The average number of fibers in a section of the yarn of a specific number depends on the thinness of the fibers. While the number of the yarn is directly proportional to the thinness of the yarn, the irregularity of the yarn is reversely proportional to it. Yarns made of thin fibers are of more strength and regularity, and they also have less amount of waste when compared to the yarns made of thick fibers. The thinness of the cotton fibers is determined in the Microna device by the use of airflow. Fibers with different thinness values result in different resistance values against the airflow. Since thin fibers have more surface, they exhibit more resistance against the airflow. Hence, the amount of air passing through the thin fibers is less when compared to the amount of air passing through the thick fibers. The airflow method, which exploits the mentioned characteristics of the fibers, is used to determine the thinness. The thinness that is known as a quality for the cotton fiber is found by letting an amount of air flow within the fibers in a chamber and then noting the obtained value of the pressure. Our device consists of the airflow control knobs the airflow on-off switch, the calibration nipper, the measuring nippers, the measuring chamber and the measuring scale. Firstly, the calibration nipper is placed in the measurement chamber in order to make the calibration of our device and the airflow is activated by using the device's airflow on-off switch. Then the top of the float is adjusted to be at the sixth level. In the next stage, the hole on the calibration nipper is closed and the top of the float is moved to the third level. Thus, the calibration is completed. The airflow is deactivated by using the switch. Then, our properly conditioned sample is opened a little and weighed at 3.24 grams by means of a precise balance. After weighing the sample, it is carefully placed into the measuring chamber and the measuring nipper is closed onto our sample. The airflow is activated. The value at the top of the float is taken as the test result.